back to what we were talking about. A lot of anxiety and depression could be coming because of everyone having to self isolate. So Curtis Quillen spoke with a counselor to help us out. We really do need human interaction. We, we need connection. We're wired for that. We don't even choose that. It's just part of our makeup. As the world continues to fight the spread of coronavirus, millions are self quarantined and isolated, which could lead to issues with anxiety and depression. We spoke with Carrie Pearson, a licensed counselor supervisor and owner of Lakewood Counseling Center in Bell County about maintaining mental health in a time where isolation is so paramount. Finding things around the house to do, organize something, clean out something that's going to get some dopamine movement going on where you're feeling good about so you accomplish something, uh, being physically active, getting endorphins going. Pearson says she's been discussing these strategies with her patients all week, saying some have even made schedules for their days. Every 30 minutes I'm changing. I'm doing this and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. Um, just so that there's something, some type of structure to the day. Pearson says a big key is turning off the TV and Netflix. But what else is there? The NCAA tournament is obviously wiped out this year. Well, Pearson says this is a good time to go outside and go for a walk or go to the backyard or the garage uh, and get some exercise in. Because just sitting and watching movies for the next however many weeks or watching Netflix, you know, is not going to be good for people who struggle with this. And for those with family in nursing homes, Pearson says it'll be important the homes find activities to fill time for those loved ones but a phone call to visit with them could go a long way. I think we're realizing probably through all of this how much we can do from a distance and still stay connected. Had this happened 20 years ago um, before we had all the electronics, it would be a totally different world. Curtis Quillen, 6 News. And we have more of what Pearson said over at KCENTV.com.